Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Tokyo Avengers episode 19. Uh, I apologise for this being a day late once again. Um, just obviously scheduling issues and busy uh, when it came out last night. But uh, next weekend will be absolutely back to normal. The j Summer will be out before Tokyo Avengers and Tokyo Avengers will be on time. Um, but yeah, So yeah, I apologise about that for the last two weekends. Um, but yeah, uh, nothing really to say for the start of the episode, so that is that. As always, guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go right into this episode right now. And then straight after this condition, Kazutoro just flipped. I actually can't wait to see how this episode's gonna go. <laughs> Safety first. Okay, thanks for that. This is going to be even more brutal than the last fight. Obviously not just from what we know happens at the end, but... <laughs> As always, the commander's just putting in work. Oh, Chiffy, my boy. As always, Takamiji's got to figure out what his plan. Is he going to fight? Who knows? Oh, Mikey looks like a beast, bro. Oh... His right hand stepping in. He doesn't even need to fight you, bro. That's some real Luffy Zora energy right there. What are you standing here for? He's powerful, though. What? I thought you'd fight Mikey, but sure, I guess. Mikey you beat the brakes off this guy. I don't understand. Neither do I, Ken, because you got fucking stabbed in the last battle. And then, like, yeah, it, again, like a factor in the last battle, there is someone who is just missing, which is Baji at this time. So where is he? Takamiji, you got to fight a bit. You can't just look for someone. God, I love all the commanders at home, and they're so cool. He's, he's got a point, Mikey. You're a second division in Toman. You need to fight. Oh my god, Takamichi. <laughs> Chief you! Aibo. Oh. There's a lot of people. But at least they're not commanders or anything. Yeah, you said you'd never let this happen again. Come on, bro. Fucking let's go, Takamichi. Good shit. That's my boy. Oh, you can take some punches, though. Jesus Christ. I love this guy. He's such an overwhelming force. Oh, of course someone else jumps in. The only way Hanma could ever have a chance against Ken. Fucking one-punch, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah. But your commanders are taking out freaking tons of them each. Who cares? Oh, yeah, true. The lower Toman. Good leaders. Let's go. You do something. Just fight as much as you can until you're literally on the floor, bro. That's all you can do. Oh, real vice captain energy right there. Ken just goes berserker mode. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing, Takamiji? Takamiji's like the weakest one there, probably. And he's like still so amped up to go. If that is inspiring, the weakest dude there. Come on, guys, get up. <sighs> Actual goosebumps. Let's fucking go, Takamiji. I respect that. Look at them. Look at them getting up. Still, though, where is Baji? Ooh. And if he doesn't need to protect, he can once again go all out. This is how you earn your rank, bro. Good shit, Takamiji. I hope, I hope Ken gives Han that absolute hands. I, I just want to see it. Yeah, bro, that's fucking Draken. You better respect him. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What a beast. And this psychopath still doesn't care. 
If the fucking episode ends. Oh my god, thank god. It's like the halfway point. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that had power. He went fucking flying. Yeah, bro, beat him to a pulp. I want to see if this dude can even fight like that. Is there like a rule? Well, there's obviously no rules. Like Kazutoro said, like, will people use weapons? Like, like, is someone going to pull a knife? Bro, they've got some commanders here, really? Can't they just have a 1v1? You wanted to fight him. This guy reminds me of the guy um, on Alba Josai in Haiku. Can't remember his name. I mean, to be fair, his goal is just to kill Mikey. I suppose he doesn't really care about fighting him 1v1. I'll have a Captain Chombo. Chom. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh, shit. I guess Hammer's not bad at fighting, but it seems Ken has more power. Hammer's just a little bit nuts. Ooh. Nuclear missile kicks. Ooh. Of course. Yeah, figured this he would do that. I love the like the movement and the animation when he like throws his hands about. It feels so powerful. Yeah, of course this was gonna happen. Oh shit, that actually connected. That's gotta hurt even Mikey. Oh god. Oh fuck, he's out. Holy shit. Do you fuck? She's gonna get straight back up and annihilate you. That's gotta hurt. Do answer, please, because I'm curious as to why you hate him so goddamn much. Young Mikey kind of looks like Jiffy. Oh, dude. It explains a little bit as to why he's a little bit messed up, I guess. I'm not really sure as to why he thinks that, but okay. No. He's just bad at picking sides, it seems like. like. It definitely wasn't Mikey's fault that he went to GV. Mikey, just get out of that joke, come on. You can do it. Very easily. Oh, if he takes this head on to prove a point. Oh, Mikey! Bro, your skull is not made of fucking vibranium. Oh, this guy's up. <laughs> he didn't mind getting the shit beat of him. There's no way Mikey can't get out of this choke, like... He's doing something just to prove a point. And where is Baji? Where is he? Oh, no. You fucked up now. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! He's gone. He's done. He's just knocked out three people in like two seconds. Holy. He looks like a demon. Oh my god, that's the end of the episode. I don't believe it. I don't know how... I, I never doubt Mikey at all. But he just keeps exceeding my expectations on how insanely strong he is. Like, he took those pipe beatings to the face. Obviously, just to prove a point. Or just to think over what's happening. I don't know. Just fucking Mikey things. And then... And then knocks out three people... In, like... Two seconds. Like, what the hell? That is insane. Like, a Mikey kick would be, like, getting hit by a car, it seems like. Jesus. And what's going to happen now is likely what's going to happen from the uh, original, you know, timeline, what happened, which is him beating Kazutoro to death, even though Kazutoro already locks out right now. Um, 
Baji may change the situation, obviously. Who knows what's going to happen there? Kazuto, we don't know where Baji is right now. And in the original timeline, Kazuto to kill Baji. So I guess he's not fully out. Um, but like crazy. I guess we get a little bit more of an insight into obviously what Kaz makes Kazuto sound kind of so crazy as to obviously what happened in his past. But he really just, it's just all about picking the wrong sides, really, obviously, is what has happened in his life. And he's just he's just done it again. He's picked the wrong side. He's chose to believe that Mikey is the reason that he went to juvie and not his own bad thought process in 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 the situation that happened. And he's just putting the blame on someone which who who didn't do anything, you know? Mikey isn't even the one that reported him to the police. Like the police just got called from I don't know where, but like I don't know. It's uh oh god. The next episode is gonna be crazy. I'm glad I'm not actually gonna be. I'm, I can watch it when it comes out next week, so that's good. Um, but yeah, overall a really good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. And that is that, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.